and welcome back to the Hoppapalooza, taking a break from the IPAs and pails and moving on to a dry hopped sour ale. From a Blind Man Brewing out in uh, Lacombe, Alberta, this is Kettle Sour number 8. It's a uh, Kettle Sour, uh, dry hopped with uh, Summer and Centennial. Um, 4.5% alcohol by volume. I've had a few from the series already and really enjoy them, so I said that you could try this one out, you know. Um, pours a uh, super hazy, uh, light, light yellow color. Almost looks like lemonade or something. Um, yeah, really like the uh, artwork on that. Looks cool. <laughs> cartoonish or something. But uh, yeah, this one pours a bright white, uh, fluffy, frothy, soapy kind of bright white head. Um, yeah, straight up lemonade in the glass there. Let's get an aroma. Getting a lot more yeast than I typically get in the series. Look at a bready kind of yeast in the background there. But for the most part, it's that uh, typical... Uh, like a tart lemon, tart uh, grapefruit peel. There's a nice uh, herbaceous, uh, basil-y, parsley kind of hot quality. Oh yeah, that smells awesome. So uh, let's take a sip. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, that's really nice. Great mouthfeel to the beer. Uh, super light, spritzy, but it's still got this uh, chewy softness to it. Um, yeah, like a half of ice and something like that. Really nice mouthfeel. Um, I've had many beers from a with a Centennial Hops before, but not, never anything with Summer. Um, I think it's a uh, uh, Australian or New Zealand hop, something like that. Um, I'm sure I could research it and actually uh, know what I'm talking about, you know. But uh, yeah, what I'm getting from the Centennial is that really a uh, green onion, that herbaceous, uh, beautiful, like a summery kind of quality. Um, yeah, really nice uh, citrusy vibes to it. And then this uh, tropical fruit kind of thing, which I'm guessing is from the uh, summer hops. That's like a passion fruit kind of tartness. This uh, kind of like guava tartness in the background there. Mm. Really nice, really pleasant beer to drink. I could easily crush the four pack in one sitting, you know. Yeah, that goes down super quick. Um, great beer, once again from uh, Blind Man. As a rating on this one, it's not my favorite of the series, but it's still really good. Um, I go right around like a um, 87, 88. Really good stuff. Definitely worth picking up, especially for the price. Um, I forget what I paid for it, but I was surprised at uh, how inexpensive this beer was. So, yeah, super cheap for a sour and worth picking up. So, uh, let me know what y'all think of this beer, any of their other beers. Till the next time, cheers.